Now this little tiny clinic is to uh, show you how to use surface mounts. There are a couple of different ways. We take our surface mount, which is in the packet. There she is. She's dropped out. There. Using a fine pair of tweezers. We put it onto some double sided sticky tape on something heavy. In this case I'm just using a square, a little bit of double sided. I've taped it to the bench so it stays in the same place for the camera. It doesn't go walkabout. There's our LED, our surface mount 603. We're going to solder to that with enamel wire, magnet wire, a solenoid wire, whatever you want to call it. There's there's the wire. How thick? Yes. <laughs> Three it's fair. magnet wire. It's fairly... Three fair. He's asked me a question I cannot answer, so we will look it up and find out. Uh, that's four thou yeah. thick. You can see it for yourself. So I'm not lying. What we have to do is get the enamel off the wire and the easiest way to do this plenty of solder on the soldering iron you put the wire into it and just hold it there for about five seconds and it will take enough enamel off if you want more you just move the thing further and you'll see a nice shiny piece at the end of that, clean the soldering iron again. I use flux all the time. Yellow one. Yeah. I use flux. Uh, it's a must, even if you've had something clean out of a packet and it's only been out for three and a quarter seconds. Chunk. It's dad into it's a liquid. It's a liquid. Uh, it's not DW, but it's a liquid. We put a touch on. The LED. We have solder, which is a tiny bit of soldering on the iron, and we stick it on one side of the LED. We touch it, wait for it to go off, and as you can see, it's a fairly firm. We haven't got to put tons of solder on or hold it there for three and a quarter hours. And Normally, about two inches of that's enough, so I chop it. I have two colors for the enamel wire. I don't know why, but I have. And a cathode. But I can never remember which one I use, because I've got to sleep between doing one and another, so I can never remember which one is which. Doesn't matter. You're not going to damage the lead. So now we'll tin the other one. Just burning the enamel off, hey? Yep. Yeah. There we go. The part that I'm going to use, I've taken more off than I actually need, so it's out of your shot possibly, but there we go. I've just trimmed the end off it. Try and use tweezers to give you a bit of viewing. This is all better if we had an electron microscope, uh, but yeah. there you go. Move your hand. Yeah, that's it, that's better. The director is giving me instructions. <laughs> Solder the other end. Wait there for the set. Go. And that's one. Once you've done the first 50 or 60 of these, you can do them with your eyes closed. Now, we take it off. And you can see they're soldered on. This is what they call ditch light connection. And I'll show you why. Because they'll wrap over that way. Which makes them very versatile. You can put them side by side so they're coming straight out if you want. It, up, up it, markers. Yeah. Yep. So it, it depends what, what, what application you're going to give them. Yeah, what we need to do now is test it. So the other end yeah. we get a dollop of solder on and we run it back and forth burn the enamel off boil it all off 
that looks good shiny do the same with the other one like so you can see they're both shiny and then we test and find out which way around we connected them I'm gonna move this just There's our LED on its leads. We're running that at 10 milliamps. That's a warm white, isn't it? Uh, I yeah. think so. Yeah. I've been asleep since I <laughs> got these out of the packet, so I can't remember. What's, what's that taking? Uh, two minutes? A couple of minutes. Yeah. Now we, get, we can get a little bit clever uh, with these things to show you the next step. There's a nice, have you got that in? Yep. That's a nice clean piece of circuit board straight out of the packet. We have flux on the end of the brush. We'll rub it with the flux. Whether it will show up on the camera, you can see the difference in colour. Yes, you know, well, I'll zoom in. And you can see the difference in colour. Uh, Everything focused. oxidizes quickly. That was taken out of the packet uh, a good 15 minutes ago. No, we haven't focused. There we go. Now we can see it. Yep. Okay. And you can see the difference in where the flux has been and where it hasn't been. So that's nice and clean now. We wipe it off. And we use a small file just to pile a slight slot across the circuit board. But one's never enough, so we'll always do two for the purposes of this demonstration. And we'll take another LED. They won't go to waste because I'll use these for different things. And I'll stick that on top of my double sided sticky so it holds it in place for you. We'll go on the board which we have just hit with flux. Touch a solder, hold the LED in place and touch the board. We haven't got to put wads and wads of solder. Flux is the most magic, most magic chemical or I've got to use, you've got to use tool. flux. Now hold it down, there we go, that's held in place. Now we're going to be super duper clever and we're going to add a resistor. So we take a resistor out of the packet. Surface mount resistor. Yeah, surface mount. Same as the LED. And I will show you just for the hell of it. Two sizes. That's the 1000 size. That's a good one to start with. And when you've done the first 20 of those, then you can go to the one that's exactly the same size as your LED. I hope you can pick that up. So, now we just touch the surface of that. We'll get the small one, which is 2.4K. You need to come this side. Come out of the top here. Have a look where we can get in there. So we hold it in place, touch the solder, circuit board. A little bit more solder to touch the other side. There we go. And that's all in place. And just to prove it, we will couple a pair of wires to it. Solder, bit of wire on one end, bit of wire on the other end. Load tester. Oh. Yeah, we strip the wires. Remove the other one from there. And we'll attach to our lead tester. One. Two. Oh, there you go. Yeah, missed it. Huh? There we go. Too easy. It's on the board. It's the same LED, but we've now got a resistor in. You can see it's more yellow. It's still running on the 10 milliamp connection on my tester. But now we've got a 2.4K resistor in there. And you can see that's a nice yellow. I'll put on the black. Yeah. That's a nice yellow. Yep. And 
Oh, it's headlight. Nice little board. That'll be a headlight, a yeah. marker light. What, oh. what size resistor is that? 2.4K resistor. Yeah, that's a good size, yeah. All right. Now, if we put this on a higher setting on the tester, it will go brighter, of course. Yeah. But not a lot. You're not going to see a difference. It's a beautiful part of resistors. You can get whatever illumination yeah. you want, from dim to bright. Uh, our eyes are not that good, so we can't yeah. see. There's your right yeah. down on uh, one milliamp there yeah. into yeah. the resistor. That do you? That's it. Uh, we'll show you what you can do once you've played with all these and got them in. You can then go into something like this. Oh, mate. And hand lanterns. You can wobble it up and down. Yep. Yep, there you go. Hand lanterns.